We thank God for blessing us to be in this house one more time. And thank God for Jesus Christ and his perseverance and his commitment to please the Father. Jesus Christ being the example facing the enemy and not flinching gives me encouragement and courage to stand even when it's not the popular thing to do. To stand on God's word and to uphold God's word in my life. I cannot control men but I can control me and I thank God for that I'm given the power to put away anger malice jealousy and lust in its form I'm given that power as the saint of God amen he gave me this when he got up he gave me the ability to control what comes into my mind and stays there. Hallelujah. I say what comes into my mind and stays there. The enemy always comes, but I got the power either to yield to what he's saying or resist him. Amen. This is not the devil's mind. This is my mind. This is not the devil's body. This is my body. Amen. I think one of the things about God's people is we lack the fortitude to step up and say, I'm responsible for my actions. Amen. But I thank God for those that men and women with integrity, an innermost force that drives them to do the right thing at all times. Not do the right thing at the right time, but do the right thing every time. Amen. That man or that woman has the presence of mind of knowing that God is real and God is in me and I will not betray Jesus Christ in order to fulfill some ambition. To fulfill a lust. Amen. I am the sanctified vessel that he called. I am the one that chose to put away certain things in my life when I came over here. Amen. Am I by myself? Is there anybody else in here that's got that kind of frame of mind that I will not betray Jesus Christ? I will not bow to the pressure of the world. I will not blend in with my surroundings. I will not be a pawn in this thing called life. Amen. I can speak for myself when I say that these have been some trying times. These last few years. Hallelujah. But oh I tell you these have been some blessed times too. The time is more blessed than it has I've had more good things. The Lord has released more good things, brought and sent more good things my way than the things that come to bring us sadness and despair. Hallelujah. I thank God for being saved. I thank God for being on the Lord's side. I thank God for the gifts that he gave me. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank the Lord for being merciful. I thank the Lord for being faithful. I thank the Lord for being able, us being able to put our confidence in him no matter what we face. 
The scripture says, who, if God be for us, Romans 8 and 31, if God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also give us freely all things? So that freedom releases us from trying to grab something, trying to have something. That freedom that he gives us in Jesus Christ also gives us an assurance that God is going to take care of me no matter what. Jesus Christ gave us a command. You may not receive the Matthew 5, 6, and 7 as a command, but he's given instructions on the saints on how we deal in this life here. Not just how we live for God, but how we live this life through God. You believe it, say amen. Jesus told us in Matthew 6, take no thought what you're going to eat, drink, or put on. But after all of these things, the Gentiles, the unsaved folks, they live to get something. And not necessarily get it the right way either. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ gave us insight into the fact that our Heavenly Father already knows the things we have need of. Him knowing and not being willing to provide some wrong somewhere. Hallelujah. Let me give you something else, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God said. He said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find knock and it shall be open and here's the irony of it he's the door if you need the door open he opens up when we open up to him you don't even say amen these are trying times these are the times that try men's souls the closer we get to what I call crunch time it's going to get a little rougher. It's going to get a little tougher. Pastor, I'm already going through. Well, amen. Join the club. Hallelujah. I don't know one true saint that ain't facing the devil. Amen. Toe to toe. I say toe to toe. You give no ground and you're trying to take ground. That's what it's all about. We are strong in the Lord. When his word is strong in us. The word of God was put in this earth in order to give us God's mind. The mind of Christ. And brothers and sisters on his way to carry you don't see him one time. You know I don't think I, I want to go this route. I, I don't feel like I want to go this route. The beating and the slapping and the spitting on me. and the, You know what I mean? And finally the crucifixion. I, 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 not one time do you see him flinching. The Bible says in Isaiah, he has set his face as a flint. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm going in spite of. I'm going. Now him... And what he faced compared to what we're going through now is insignificant. Hallelujah. The opposition knows that God's people, when they have true, genuine faith in God, he knows he can't stop us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are powerful. We're powerful in the Lord. Why? Because we have his ear. The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. And his ear is open unto our cry. But the face of the Lord is against them that do wickedly. Amen. Well, I'm not wicked. And I thank God he still showed me that I'm on the line when he answered a prayer. Thank you, Lord. I say when he answered a prayer. Some are still, amen, pray God on the shelf, but in his due time, he's going to answer. Hallelujah. 
Now, I would doubt if he never answered a prayer, but since he didn't answer so many, I think I'll stay in the groove. You may be say bad. I think I'll stick with it. You may be say bad. And the enemy is trying us on every hand. What you going to do now that this didn't happen? What you going to do now that that didn't happen? I believe I'll run on. Not see what the end going to be. I'm going to be at the end. The Bible declares that man prays on a righteous man falls sometimes and every time God will get him up from there. I heard Nellie Douglas say when you come to the end of your rope, tie not in and hang on. Now you hanging on one end, guess who got the other end of the rope? And brother, I'm telling you, he's still pulling you to be saved, man. Hallelujah. That's why he said in Matthew 11, 28, you come. Unto me. He didn't say come to religion. Hallelujah. You come unto me. All you that labor doing your own thing and sound knowledge and got so tangled up. Oh, but I can't untangle you. Hallelujah. Not only can I untangle, but I want to. I'm reminded in Luke, amen, the leper came to him and said, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. He didn't know what God's will was. But not just in case, I'm going anyhow. And brother, that thing was so contagious, amen, praise the Lord, until people breathe on you, that spirit got on you. And I don't read, amen, pray God, amen, pray why he said, brother, get back, get back. No, sir, the Bible declares, amen, he stretched forth his hand and laid his hand on that man and said, I will, you want to know what my will is, I will be thou clean. And the scripture said the leprosy departed. Hallelujah. I'm telling you that same power is resident in us because we bear his name and what we ask Jesus said in John 14, if we ask the Father anything in his name, he didn't say God will do it. You read John 14, verse 12, 13, 14. He said, I will do it. That the Father might be glorified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It makes no difference how dark this thing is looking, amen, for the world. The Bible declares we are the light of the world. You believe me, say amen. And brother, it's time to shine, shine, shine. Them saints had a thing about this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. And then it got so good to them, they added something else, bro, Willie. They said, I'm going to make it shine. What does that mean? When I go in darkness, amen, I'm going with the power of God in my life. Amen. Pray God to lose somebody. You may be sad. Yeah. Many times, amen, the word of God in your mouth, amen, is so powerful. Amen. Praise God. The devil trying to shut you up and put a zip on it. You speak out of turn. Brother, any time deliverance is, amen, pray God, a time to be delivered, you always on check. You always on talking. You well, bless his name. Psalms 107 and 20, he sent his word to heal them and to deliver them from all of their destruction. Wait a minute. That's Old Testament. That's an Old Testimony. John 1 and verse 1 in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. I know with the God that did he say, praise God when God, amen, wanted, amen, hallelujah, to send salvation in this world. He said, and the word became flesh. And I see why them angels was on the side of the hill, amen, pray God, talking about glory to God in the highest peace. It's born in that manger. Goodwill, God ain't mad with you no more. Hallelujah. You want to know what his will is? His will is a good will because he put the will in the world. You may be saying, man. I have to read down through it in John 1 and say he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He came to his own and his own received it not, but to as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to those that believe on his name. I'm in that number. I have power to become a son of God. And he made me 
a son of God? When? When I believed on him. You ain't even took a text yet. The Bible is my text. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was sitting out there, amen, searching. You know, when the, when the storm is out on the sea and the ships are caught out there, amen, praise the Lord. There's a thing called a watchtower on the banks of the, hallelujah, of the land. And that thing shines a light, amen. And it makes no difference how dark and how foggy it is. That light shines through that darkness. You'll be able to say amen. I, was, I, I sent the searchlight out. What you want me to talk about today? You didn't give me nothing all week. And but just before I got out the car, he still ain't said nothing. And then when I came in and got on my knees, I, 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 amen, that's a good place to get a word, amen. And he said, James chapter 1, turn with me, please. I want to deal and encourage, amen. I say deal and encourage. Deal with the things that, are, that we're facing, that we're involved in, that's coming against us, huh? And encourage us to understand that we are on the Lord's side. And every amen, all sides except the side of God is going down. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. James 1 and verse 1. Read. James, a servant of God. A ser the, the servant. Hey, huh? Give me that one more time. James, a servant of God. A servant of God. And of, the, and of the Lord Jesus Christ. And of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the 12 tribes. Now, if we could just nail that down. The fact that we're serving God and not him us. Huh? We're his servants, amen? amen. We wait on him, man. Y'all have been to a restaurant. You got a waiter or a waitress, amen? They don't give you what they want you to have. Come on here. Read. To the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Read. My Whether I go for the 12 tribes, go for us too. You know why? Because the devil ain't just tormenting the 12 tribes. He's tormenting the saints of God. You'll be saying, man. And I think it's time for us to turn the table and start tormenting his butt. Amen. The one that's in you, bro, Willie, when he stepped on the scene, the devil said, amen, have you come to torment us before the time? You better know it. You better know it. Amen. All of us can't work here. And since I was hired, I'm firing you. Read it. My brethren. Count it all joy when, when you fall into divers Not temptation. If. When you fall, how many there? How many there? Come on. How many there? It's always something trying to cause you to doubt God. That's temptation. It ain't not necessarily a man or a woman or, or, or lust for some things. Anything that come to try to cause you to doubt God, that is a temptation. Hallelujah. The devil don't always come with physical force. The scripture teaches us in Ephesians 6, amen, pray God, to put on the whole arm of God that we may be a stand against the wiles, the tricks, the schemes of the devil, you believe me, say amen. But thank God Jesus Christ is made unto us wisdom. Well, bless his name. Read it. Three, knowing this. That knowing the, this now. That the trying of your faith worketh What patience. did you say? Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Knowing this. Read it. That the trying of your faith. Your faith got to be tried. Look this way. Not one man or woman that has came to God. Amen. Going to make it. Amen. From here on earth to glory. Without trials and tribulations. Jesus Christ said. Amen. Praise the Lord. In John 16. 33. In this world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. Now, brother. I got this. When I rose, I didn't rose with half of the power. I didn't rise with three quarters of the power. Amen. With all power in my hand. And brother, I got the keys. You ain't got to be afraid to die. I got the keys. Of hell and death in my hand. Read. The trying of your faith worketh patience. It's working on the, huh? Faith is working. And it's working for us. Read. But let patience have her perfect work. Patience is working. Y'all look this way here. Don't never ask God for patience. You're going to get that anyhow. Hey, it comes with the territory. Show sure enough. Because somebody's got to try us. And God steps back and allows them to try us. 
I want Psalms 112, somebody. In verse 6, read, son. That ye may be perfect and entire. Notice what patience does now in the trial. Look this way. You don't get me perfect going around nothing. Oh, glory to God. You got to face the enemy, amen, praying God. If we got to go toe-to-toe, we going toe-to-toe. Hallelujah. Because I ain't the backing up kind. Well, bless his name. And when means are saying it's impossible and you can't do this, I say, I tell you what, amen, I can do all things to cry. Who's my strength? That's why I love Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Why? Your presence is there. Your presence is in me. Why bless his name? This is why that boy wasn't afraid to go tackle to Goliath. That boy, I give him the licking of his life. Amen, praise the Lord. Let me at him. Amen now. It's kind of like that rodeo, so call it. Amen, praise the Lord. They, they, you know they got that bull. Amen, praise God. Hallelujah. He the baddest thing in town. Somebody got to tame him. And that cowboy get down, he got to ease down in there on him now. Because that thing is, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. But somebody finna whoop somebody. Now, just because man stay on no eight, eight seconds don't mean he done won nothing. Hallelujah. The bull is still bad. You ain't going to tame him. Well, bless his name. And brother, we got the bull. Huh? Nobody going to tame Jesus Christ. Ain't nobody going to tame us. I'm speaking in terms of the world now. Notice what he said. Count all joy when you fall. Knowing this. That the trying of your faith work patience. But you got to let patience. You yield to patience. Don't fly off the handle. Don't make the wrong choice. Or the wrong thing come out your mouth. And then your heart condemn you. I'm preaching good doctrine this morning. Huh? Let patience. Yield to patience. I'm going to wait. Pay. I want Psalm 40 and verse 1. Stay right there, son. Psalm 40 and verse 1. There's a benefit in letting patience have her perfect work. Thank you, Lord. Psalms 40 and verse 1. I waited patiently on the Lord. Psalm 40 and verse 1. Read. I waited patiently I for did the Lord. what? Waited patiently. Now I could have took malice into my own hand, but now most of the time if it's a mess and you stir it up, it's going to stink. Well, bless his name. And you can't stir it up without it getting on you. Read it. And he inclined unto me. I, I waited patiently. Give me that one more time. I waited patiently for the Lord. And for the he, Lord or on the Lord? For the Lord. I waited for the Lord. He, he's coming by my house to pick me up. Read it. And he inclined unto me. And he did what? Look at this great big God, Julius. Look at this great awesome God. That would incline. That would incline now. That sounds like Julius down there praying. That sounds like Julius down there praying. Hallelujah. Incline means I'm paying attention to you. Amen. Ain't that what I want? Ain't that what you want? You want to pay attention to your prayer? Huh? Attend to my prayer? Read. And heard my cry. He heard my cry, my prayer. Read. He brought me up also. Hold it. And David, because I waited patient on him, I knew he was coming. I knew he was coming. I didn't know when. I showed him nowhere. But some kind of way, amen, he stepped on the sea. You may be saved, man. I was sinking. I was, well, bless his name. Read. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit. A horrible pit. Out of the miry clay. Let how miry clay is quicksand. That quicksand. And the more I struggle, the deeper I'm going. Amen. Pray to God. Ah, but Jesus Christ told me the lifeline. You'll be saved. Amen. Read. And set my feet up on a rock. Woo! He put me out of the quicksand. Put me on a firm foundation. Read it. And establish my goal. He did what? I ain't going to juke joints no more. I ain't honky tonking no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, bless his name. You know, 
it used to be just weekend, but now they going to the honky tonk all amen through the week. I, I didn't know it, but every time I got to pass downtown on Market, North Market, and brother, they coming out the juke joints. You see what I'm saying here? Just about every night, somebody hunting. Read! And he has put a new song in Woo! my mouth. I ain't singing the thrill of God, honey. The thrill is still here. Only thing is, amen, pray God, my thrill ain't on Sugar Hill. My thrill is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. We sing that song, but I get joy when I think about what he done for me. I get joy when I think about how he set me free. Singing the Zion songs. Hot off the wire of saints that have been tried. Amen. Praise the Lord. And through that trial, God gave me a song in the night. Woo! Hallelujah. Read. Even praise unto our God. Yes, sir. The praise is to who? Our God. Read. Many shall see it and fear. Right. And shall trust in the Lord. Oh, my God. I want what he got. Many shall see it in fear and trust in God. What they say, what he's telling us here, many will see you trust in God and they'll see the end of you trusting God, wait pacing on the Lord, and they'll want what you got. Yes, sir. And that's where God opens the opportunity to witness. Amen. Hallelujah. How many times have God, amen, praise the Lord, somebody been watching your life and then when they start going through, they come for prayer. And when you pray, amen, praise the Lord, God answers that prayer. Now they know you're genuine. Amen. And later on, they may not get saved right then, but later on when they come in, do you not know you just as, amen, praise God, got just as much to do with that than anybody else? The Bible declared, Paul the apostle through the Holy Ghost said, one plant, another waters. But God gives the increase. God bring it in, amen. Hallelujah, I read in the book of Psalms, he that go forth weeping and bear precious seed. The seed is the word, shall no doubt come again. Bring it in the seeds with gladness. Why well, bless his name? I just feel like preaching. Read it. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord what his trust. What did you say? So as so I want Jeremiah 7, 17 and 7. You still with me, son? Don't go nowhere now. I'm coming down your alley. Jeremiah 17 and 7. Blessed. Blessed is the man that Bla trusted in what the Lord. What did you say? Blessed is the man. Is that the man that what? Trusted. No, in the Lord. make it. Read. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord. Read. And in whose hope, hope the Lord is. The Lord is. Whose hope is what? The Lord is. The Lord is what? His hope. He's my hope. Hallelujah. And Paul told them Colossians over there that this mystery was hidden in God before the foundation of the world. This thing was revealed to the saints. What is that mystery? Christ in me. The hope of going where he is. John 14, he said, I'm going. I'm coming again. Receive you unto myself. Boy, that's good to me. That's good to me. Jesus don't tell a lie. Now, if he was an iffy person, we got a problem. But brothers and sisters, everything he said it is like he said it is. Amen. Huh? Give me that one more time. Bless. Bless is the man. Yes. That trusted in the Lord. Read. In and whose, whose hope. hope the Lord is. Come on back, son. Come on back. Tell him where you stopped at. James chapter 1, verse 4. Verse 4. Read. But let patience have her perfect let work. Let patience. Let patience. Let Somebody shout less patience. Let patience. Everybody shout let patience. Let patience. You're dealing with folks, amen, prayer, kind of rowdy. God didn't tell you, amen, pray you ought to cuss them out. Ain't supposed to be no cussing in you. God didn't tell you to pray against them either. Amen now. You know the only prayer that we can pray and actually be biblical for our enemies is what he told us. Pray for God to save them. Amen. God save them. You ain't got to worry about them raising hell with you no more. Now ain't that wisdom? Is that, is that wisdom? Huh? So, so then he told us, hey man, don't come against him. Don't render evil for evil. Overcome evil with good. Buy him some. Amen. Amen. Buy him lunch. And don't just go, I'm going to do it. I'll see if it works. No. Do it from time to time on a constant basis. First time they say, what you, what you up to? 
Hey, look, I just want you to know I, I ain't got nothing against you. I love you. I want you to know Jesus loves you. God put this in my heart to buy your lunch. Amen. You got to eat it. I mean, I ain't putting nothing in it. Amen. Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying? Hallelujah. See, we're wise. He, Jesus told us to be wise as serpents and harmless as a dove. Why? A soft answer turn away wrath. Now, you argue with them, then get what? And, and, hey, we ain't fighting now. It's nice and guns now. All right, and then you start arguing, they shoot you down, you in disobedience because, it, it, especially if you've been in this church, you've been told what to do and what not to do, and then you wind up in hell in disobedience. Pastor, you mean to tell me God won't overlook that? I tell you one thing, if God overlooked one sin, then that makes him a respecter of person. Read, son. That ye may be perfect and entire. Notice what patience does. It makes us perfect. Hold it. Your soul is the most important part of you. That's the part that's going to live forever somewhere. I want Luke 21, 19. I want to deal with this perfection. It's going to do what, son? That ye may be perfect and entire, wanting, wanting nothing. nothing. Luke 21, verse 19. In your patience. In your patience. Possess ye your soul. While they cussing me out, I take it patiently. While they blessing me out, I take it patient. And, and, and y'all look this way here. Ain't nobody got a heaven or a hell to put you in. They ain't putting no food on your table. They ain't putting a stitch on your back. Amen. Amen. Huh? They ruin your reputation. Well, your reputation don't mean nothing no how. It's Jesus Christ we live for. It's Jesus Christ who knows the truth. And long as he knows the truth, amen, pray God. Amen, pray God. They slandered the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Look what they did to the, to the prophets. Jesus Christ asked them, but which of the prophets, amen, pray God, didn't your fathers kill? Every one of them. Amen. No, the heathen didn't kill God's prophets. God's folks stoned God's prophets. Right. And let the false prophets flourish. We in Isaiah 30 and 10. Don't preach unto me right things. Preach unto me. Smooth it over. Smooth it over. Amen now. And then Jeremiah came back. Amen. Pray God said, tell you what. Hey, hallelujah. Y'all ain't hood wicked God. Amen. Nah. You done got out the way. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's why you got the mess coming. Amen. Pray God. Nebuchadnezzar is coming. Hey, if you do repent. Amen. I, and, and God forgive. I don't know nothing about it. Amen. You done went too far. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, y'all look this way here. Sometimes uh, for, for, for us, for us who know better, God will take the wicked and whoop us. Did y'all know that? Yes, Amen. Malachi 3 and 6, I'm the Lord your God. I changed not. Didn't I do it to Israel when they got wrong? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we under grace. Well, grace teach you how to live. And if you don't live how grace teach you to live, then you get the results of all those that went against God. Amen. Now. Huh? Luke 21. 19. 19. In your patience. In your patience. Possess, ye possess your soul because your soul, out of your soul comes your volition. What you will and won't do. Amen. Did y'all know that? If you've been there a while, you should. Your soul determines what you will and won't do. And Jesus asked a question in Matthew 16, 24. What would it profit me to gain the whole world and lose my soul? What can I give in exchange for my soul? But right, hold it. He's dealing with saints that are going through. Now, in this case, in Luke 21, he's dealing with the end times, the tribulation. But before the tribulation come, brother, we're going through some tribulation now. So that verse applies to me and you. Amen. Hallelujah. James said what? Let patience have a perfect work. Luke 21, 19 said what? In patience, po 
possess. Now possession is three-thirds of the law, something like that. That means foolishness. But possession means you own that. Now, who can stop me from doing what I want to do with my Bible? It ain't your Bible. It's my Bible. Amen. Huh? By the same token, I belong to God. Amen. Ain't nobody going to use me but God. Amen. Am I in this thing by myself? No. Saints got the mentality. Then I'm going to keep quit watching y'all. I'm going to watch me. I'm going to put me under the magnified, uh, under the microscope. Yeah. Huh? Titus, check this out, Titus. We ourselves were sometimes disobedient. And we serve divers' lust, Titus. Now, that's why I'm telling you, live by the word. Everybody preach the same thing. God, if we could get that right, then God would move in every church. If everybody was preaching the same thing. And this is why we got so much hell going on among God's folks. The enemies came in on us. Amen. And brother, our personal life, we're fighting battles. Amen. Praise God that we know we can't win in our own strength. Our flesh, the devil, oh, bless his name. You try to stand against a devil in your flesh, he'll give you the worst whooping of your life. Ah, oh, but if we keep him in the spiritual realm, he know he can't touch us. Hallelujah. Amen. That's who the Holy Ghost is. We keep him in the spiritual realm so that our prayer life, our prayer life will reach heaven. How many want your prayers to go to heaven? And then God pencil them in. I'm going to answer this at such a such a time. Huh? Huh? Amen. Well, sometimes this, the pressures that's on us, we eat, we eat up our words, our, our, our English language. And that's where the Holy Ghost takes over. In other words, amen, uh, uh, that cannot be uttered. He uttered those things that cannot be uttered. Why? Because he is the mind of God. Yeah. And the mind of God knows the mind of God. And hold it, that mind is in us. And so the Holy Ghost could pray without us, but since he's in us, he used our tongue. And our tongue, under the control of the Holy Ghost, brother the devil, hey, it's like having a white telephone in your bosom. Amen. Amen. Now, nah, string it all the way up to heaven. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Ha! Praise God. Call him up. Call him. I can tell him what I want. And I can call him any time I want. Amen. Ha! So the devil knows. Amen. Praise God. While he's sending the trials our way, while he's sending the confusion our way, he knows that if we keep our mind in the law, the Bible declares Isaiah 26 and 3, he'll, he'll keep us in perfect peace. Perfect peace. What that word perfect is again. Perfect peace. If patience possess your soul. Ha! <laughs> Let patience have a perfect work and you may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Now wanting mean I need God to still answer this prayer or that prayer. No, 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 no. Perfect and entire want nothing. I, I'm going to ask a question. And let's just be real. How many of you believe what you read now? I mean, really believe it. Because, dear God, we in, in Psalms 112 and verse 6, he say, praise God, when evil tides come, I ain't studying. Mama said, boy, I ain't studying you. Amen. Oh, yeah, I'm off in this thing. Amen. I didn't ask to be in it. Huh? I didn't ask to be in this trial, this, this temptation. I didn't ask to be in this, but I'm in here now. All right, what am I going to do while I'm in here? I'm, I'm going to keep telling the Lord, thank you. I'm going to keep telling you, you know you're the greatest. You know you're the biggest. You know you're the baddest. <laughs> Amen. Huh? That's where I got that from. He's a bad man. Amen. Now, Ali ain't no bad man. Ali sliding out if he ain't already slid. But God is still living. Amen. Elvis still left the building. Jesus Christ is still here. You remember saying, Amen. Ah! 
Everything that the world puts up as an idol, brother, they gone and God is still flourishing. You believe me? Say bad. Why bless his name? This is why he told us in Isaiah 45 and 22. Why in the world? Amen. Pray God, would you make an idol and bow down and pray unto a God that cannot save? Look unto me. I want Isaiah 45 22. Look unto me. And be ye saved. Oh, you in Isaiah 45, 22. Somebody, anybody, please. Look Son, you stay in James. I'm coming down your alley. I'm putting a quote in the paint. Read it. Look unto me. Look unto me. Give me saved. the verse up above that. Tell ye and bring them near. Give me the verse up above that. Assemble yourselves. Yes. Hold it, hold it, hold it. When people get so far out there, God make a call, don't he? He called for the stupid. Amen. Isaiah 118, come now. Come now. You come. I'm, I'm sending a, a I'm, you getting into subpoena. Amen. Uh, come now. Let us reason together. Say it. The Lord. Do your sin be a scarlet. They'll be white like wool. They'll be red like crimson. Amen. They'll be white as snow. You come. Here he say, assemble. You get yourself. Bring your idols with you. Read it. Assemble yourselves and come. Read. Draw near together. Read. See that are escaped of the nation. See now, men think that's there's power in numbers, but it ain't. Read it. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image. Lord have mercy. And pray unto Hold a Hold it. Hold it. The wood of their graven image. Or the fiberglass of their graven image. Some of y'all get that on a slow train to China. They got them now. They're coming out of General Motors and Honda and all, huh? And huh? Read it! And pray unto a God that cannot Talk save. about praying now to something that you made. Now, if it had any power, it wouldn't have needed nobody to make it. Got legs, but they can't walk. Got a mouth, but they can't talk. Got eyes, but they can't see. How in the world can you pray to this thing and expect that thing to look on you and have favor? Why well, bless his name? I'd rather be blessed of the Lord. Why the blessing of the Lord make it rich? And he had no sorrow to it. He give me a car. I ain't got to worry about the folks repossessing it. Amen. Pray God. He going to provide. Well, God guides. He provides. Read. I got to get hurt. Tell ye and bring them near. Yeah, bring your, bring your idols with you. Let, let's see. Let's, let's see what out. Read it. Yea, let them take counsel together. Lord have mercy. Now, your idol, talk to my idol. See if we can get this thing together. Read. Who has declared this from in ancient times? Have not uh, read, sweetheart. Who has told it from that time? Hell. Have not I the Lord? Ooh, boy, that's bragging right there. Lord have mercy now. And they and listen, out of all they suffered, they couldn't say that God was wrong and that God wasn't telling the truth because everything he told them was going to happen because of their rebellion. It happened. Amen. Just like God put it down. I think about Jeremiah's so calling. Baruch was Jeremiah's secretary. <laughs> And uh, God gave Jeremiah a word. Baruch put it down. Then they took it to the king. The king took a pen knife and cut it up. <laughs> God put that same word in Jeremiah's mouth, but he, add, he had an add-on. <laughs> Brother Lester, he had an add-on. Amen. The man took it and burned it in the fire. When, Zedek, when Nebuchadnezzar came, Zed, got Zedekiah, he pulled him out of Jerusalem, amen, like a dog. Amen. Took his, his sons Kill him before that man. And then gouged his eyes out. Brother, I'm telling you, amen, pray God. It pays to serve Jesus Christ. And it pays, amen, for you to have an open ear to God. You'll be saying, man. And if you're going the wrong way, stop, stop. Turn you at my reproof. Read it. And there is no God else beside me. Lord, have mercy now. A just God. My cold chill run up my backbone. But read that one more time. And there is no God else beside me. <laughs> that's good to be. Amen. I mean, y'all have been so scared to the hair on the back of your neck stand up. Boy, they make the uh, They stand at attention. They're the big balls talking. Now, read. A just God. A just uh, what, uh, what God? Just. Now, listen. You're going to get what's coming to you. You might not like it. But it comes with justice. 
Read it. And a savior. There is none else beside me. Now he telling you that himself. And then what's the instruction? Look, Look unto me. Unto me. And be ye saved. And be ye what? Saved. And ain't just talking about that bunch in Jerusalem. Everything under heaven. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. All ye ends of the earth, read. All the ends of the earth. Read. For I am God, I and am there God. is now none else. Notice he keep telling them the same thing. Read it. I have sworn by myself. Now notice now. That's how he made that promise to Abraham because it wasn't nobody greater. He said, I swear by myself that surely blessing Abraham, I'm going to bless you. Read it. The word is gone out of my mouth Read. of righteousness Read. and shall not return. Read. And unto me. Unto every, who? Me. <laughs> Read it. Every knee shall bow. Every knee. Every, every knee. Every knee. Yes, sir. It makes no difference who the devil is using to come against us. Oh, glory to God. The Bible declares, amen, every knee going to bow and every tongue going to swear. Paul picked it up, amen, play every knee going to bow and every tongue going to confess to God. You'll be saved by Confess what? You the man. You always going to be the man. Hey, and I work for the man. Amen. Hallelujah. You can pay the best benefits, sir, Jesse. Uh, hey, when I look at my wife, I see the, one of the benefits. Hey, Amen. The best benefits. Hallelujah. Come on, son. I got to get it. I got to get it. James chapter 1, verse 5. Read. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. To Talk about wisdom in your trial now. Remember, he starts off by saying, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. But in that temptation, remember, God give us wisdom. Amen. Read it. If any man lack wisdom, let him do what? Acts of God. Let him do what? And Jesus said, Acts and you shall receive. Read. That give it to our man liberally. Read. And upbraid it not. So he ain't got no picks and chooses. Hey, y'all look this way here. I'm going I got to, I'm a rush through it. Y'all go back and look in the book of Kings. When God sent Elijah to pronounce judgment on Ahab. That man cried and slunk snot and everything else. And then God told the man of God, said, look how he humbled himself. Amen. God said, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do what I said. Because I don't tell lies. But I'm not going to do it in here while he's living. Amen. Now, God said, I'm wiping your seed out. Amen. Now, everything you got, I'm, I'm, amen, I'm wiping it out. And God did it. Amen. Through Jehu, didn't he not? Read. And it shall be given him. Six. Notice that is an absolute. You ask and it shall be given unto you. Now hold it. Y'all look this way here. Huh? Now listen. We up wringing our hands and trying to figure out, amen, pray God, how we going to do, what we going to do, and how we going to get through this. The devil is alive. Luke 18 and 1, man should always pray and not faint. Proverbs 3 and 5, trust the Lord with all your heart, lead not to your own understanding, and all your ways acknowledge him, pray to him, ask him, and he shall direct your path. Be not wise in your own eye. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It'll be helped to your neighbor and marvel to your bone. Read. 6, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Ask in the faith. Now, faith means that how in the world are you going to pray to somebody you don't believe is real? Didn't we read in Isaiah 45? They praying to statues. God said, look unto me. Let him ask in faith. Why? Because faith is what pleased God. Without it, you can't please God. He that comes to God must believe that God is God. And that he is what? A rewarder of the them that diligently seek him. Read the book. For he that wavereth is like a, a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Driven with the wind. Every wind of doctrine. I got Psalm 112 verse 6 out there. I got Psalm 112 and verse 6 out there. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody, anybody. Amen. Surely, surely, he shall not be moved. Read. G give me the give me the verse above that. A good man shows favor. Yeah, yes, sir. And lend it. And lend it. Read. He will guide his affairs. He will guide his affairs with discretion. With discretion. Surely, and surely, he shall not be moved. Underline that. Surely, 
That is an absolute. Surely read. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. Yes, read it. He shall not be afraid of evil times. Ooh, hallelujah. His Boy, heart. listen, y'all. I've been living a long time off of Psalm 37 and 1, verse 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and this verse right here. He shall not be afraid of evil times. They get ready to shut the job down. They can't shut it down until you leave. I, I, I got living proof right there. This, my wife working for a certain place, amen, pray her, and they came and told her they were going to delete her, her position. The man that told her that came back a number of years, you still here? Well, God, a bad man now. You hear me? Y'all, y'all with me this morning? Amen, that's men talking now. But my trust is in the Lord, you believe me, say amen. Huh? Thank you, Lord. They can't shut no company down, son, until God get through. And every time God, amen, pray, God ain't going to do nothing without already having a way, amen, made for you, you believe me, say amen. But praise God, he said, be patient, but that's his Don't worry. Somebody said, if you're going to worry, don't pray. I say this, if you're going to pray, believe God. Because if you ain't, you ain't hitting on nothing. Read. His heart is fixed. His heart is what? Fixed. Drunken. Fix, hold it, fix now. The dope addict need a fix. Just can't get enough of it. He's fidgety. He'll do anything to get a fix. Well, my heart is fixed. In what? Trusting in the Lord. My heart is what? Fixed and trusted in the Lord. My heart is a. His heart is established. Established. He shall now, not when you establish something, that means, pray God, it is illegal. It is a law. Amen. Like, like when you have a company, your company got, got to have a trademark. You send it off, and that's your trade. Can't nobody else use it. It's established. Amen. What is he saying here? It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, I'm not saying name. Well, you save or not save, the devil is coming for you. You believe me? Say amen. But the rise, the, the, amen, the righteous, the wise man, his heart is established. His heart is fixed. His heart is established, trusting in the Lord. Read. He shall not be afraid. No, not be afraid. Until he see, until the, he desire see the desire upon his, enemies. upon his enemies. Now, look this way. We're going to end it with that. But the enemy is not the person coming against you. The enemy is the person, amen, pray to the devil that's using that person. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't pray against the person. We pray against that spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what makes her powerful. Hallelujah. Hey, I want God smiling on me. That's all I want. I think I can make it then. I just want him smiling on my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your love and kindness. Thank you for your tender mercy.